Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today you will learn about ovarian artery Doppler waveforms throughout the menstrual cycle. We will start with the follicular phase. The sample volume is placed on the ovarian artery and spectral Doppler is applied and this is the waveform produced. It is a low resistance waveform as the developing follicles require good blood supply. The peak systolic velocity that is PSV is usually between 10 to 35 centimeters per second approximately. The value of the resistive index is usually between 0.4 to 0.7. The pulsatility index can be between 1.8 to 2.2. Towards the end of the follicular phase, that is late follicular phase, the PSV may sometimes go over 35 centimeters per second, but that is normal. The resistive index can be between 0.55 to 0.6 and the pulsatility index can be between 1 and 1.3. The next phase is the ovulation phase. The waveform has the lowest resistance as compared to other phases. We can see a broad waveform with blunt peaks. A low resistance blood flow is seen because there is an increased demand by the dominant follicle for blood. The values of PSV, RI, PI are similar to the ones seen in late follicular phase. As we enter the luteal phase, the resistance starts to increase. As the luteal phase progresses, the resistance starts to increase. We may find sharp peaks in the waveform. The PSV can be variable in this phase. We can see that the value of resistive index is increasing. Usually it is found to be between 0.6 to 0.65. Similarly, the positivity index also starts to increase. Its value can be between 1.3 to 1.8. In postmenopausal women, the waveform has the highest resistance. This is usually because less blood is required by the ovaries and there is lack of significant hormonal stimulation. We will find absent diastolic flow and very sharp systolic peaks. The resistive index values can be between 0.6 to 1 and the pulsatility index can be between 1.3 and 4. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.